Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to do mail merge and at the same time answer one of the most common questions that I get whenever I discuss mail merge in my classes. And that is how do you format the numbers that MS Word will pick up from Excel. So the problem is that whenever MS Word picks up uh, data from Excel, MS Word will pick up the actual value. So it doesn't pick up any formatting. So even if, like right now, I format the Excel uh, data source with commas like this, Mail Merge will not pick it up. So let's demonstrate that. So I just formatted here with comma and decimals. And you will see that the actual value of those cells actually is still the same number. It doesn't have any comma or decimals and that is what mail merge will pick up so to demonstrate that let's have a very quick review of mail merge so before we start your mail merge make sure that you close your file first your excel file i mean and then prepare your word document for mail merge so to start we have to go to mailings and then since I already have my MS Word document with me, I do not have to go to Start Mail Merge. I can go directly to Select Recipients. And since I am going to get a file from MS Excel, I'm going to use an existing list. So use an existing list. This, uh, with, uh, this will prompt the Windows Explorer where you're going to search for the file that your supposed to use for the mail merge okay so once you find it click open and if your uh, excel file has more than one worksheet then you have to identify which worksheet your mail merge will get data from and then click ok and then now our mail merge is ready as you could see, when mail merge is ready and you have an Excel file connected, you will notice that these buttons become clickable. So now I'm ready to fill in my fields from Excel. So I'll start with the name. So hi, and then I'll insert merge field. Hi, let's say first name, comma. And then here we have, we are pleased to inform you that your loan off, and then I'm going to put the amount here and replace it with the data from the mail merge. So amount. Okay, maybe it will also help if I uh, put in the date from the mail merge, from the um, Excel file. So I'll go to mailings and then mail merge, put the date and then align it to the right okay so now i'm ready to do the mail merge so i will preview what my document will look like so i'll go to mailings and then go to preview results and you will notice that even if i formatted the numbers a while ago as with comma and decimal mail merge will pick up the actual value it doesn't pick up the format of the number not unlike dates dates are technically formatted numbers but they get picked up by a mail merge anyway so that's our problem then how do we make mail merge pick this up so for that what we are going to do is we're going to remove the preview first so i'll un un click this one and then in the field where the amount is I have to right click on it and you should see that it says here toggle field codes so I have to click that and you will get this bracketed um, name wherein it says merge field space followed by the name of the field and you will notice that the cursor is blinking right after the name of the field after the space and that is where you are going to do some changes where the cursor is blinking right now you have to enter a certain syntax that tells the mail merge field to follow so the syntax for that would be a backslash and then followed by the number sign so this tells mail merge 
that the value that we're going to get from Excel is a number. So therefore, I have to format it in this way. So the format will be in a form of a syntax. The syntax is pound sign, comma, pound sign, which means that my thousands will have a comma. And then I want two decimals, so I'll put point and then zero, zero. Take note that this is more of a placeholder. It's not like your data will be altered to show zeros when there are really decimals there or when, when there are really centavos in the actual data. This is just a syntax, a placeholder that will tell mail merge that I want two decimal places. Okay, and if ever the number that I have in the Excel file doesn't have any decimals, then that uh, those placeholder uh, those numbers will be replaced by zeros as a placeholder. So again, the syntax is pound comma pound, which means there's going to be a comma, and then dot zero zero, which signifies the two decimal places that I want. Now. We can preview what will happen. So I will go back to mailings. And then under mailings, I will click preview results. So now you see that mail merge understood that it's a number and it's now formatted with a comma and with zero zero. So if I inspect all the other um, fields, I see that there's a decimal Okay, and a comma in them in numbers. Now, there are other formats available for mail merge uh, code. So let me demonstrate some more formats. So I will remove the preview. And then for example, for the date, I want it in a different format. So I will right click again on the date field and then toggle field codes it will again show that curly bracket with date. And then right where the cursor is, where it's blinking, I have to put a backslash and then the at symbol. So this is the symbol that I'm going to use if I want to tell mail, uh, mail merge that I'm dealing with a date. And then let's say that I want the date to be in month, day, and year format. So this is the syntax that I have for month, day, year. So four letter M's, meaning I want the whole word for the month, and then the date, and then the year. So let's preview that. And you see that it's almost correct. And what you see here is that I'm getting 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, and 2002. So there's something wrong with our format. So if you notice, it's not picking up the month portion. Because what I want to show you this time is that if you commit a mistake in the format, then it will not render the correct result. So if ever you made a mistake like that, then you simply have to go back, so toggle field codes, and fix the error. So just go back, toggle field codes, and you can still edit the code that you entered. Now, the error in this syntax is that it's actually key sensitive. So instead of small letter M's, I have to type it, them in all caps, which means that I am entering them as uh, month. The letter M, the small one, means actually minutes. So capital M is for months. So I will go to mailings and go to preview result. And you should see that it's now picking up the date correctly. So again, we have another field code okay, that we can use. Now, finally, we can also use certain commands in those uh, in that merge field uh, code. So for example, here, let me remove the preview. For the first name, since first name is a text field, I could right click and then toggle field codes and I will put a backslash and then asterisk and then I'll put here upper. This command here will tell us 
that or will tell uh, the mail merge that I want the first name to be in uppercase. So to preview that, so mailings and then preview results, there you go. So a while ago it was um, proper case, it picked up the case in Excel, but now we got the uppercase version. So that is how you apply format uh, in mail merge so that it gets corrected or formatted okay, before you finish your command or your mail merge. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section. And I hope that you also hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video.